Hello and welcome to this demo. Uh, in this demo, we'll try to uh, cover basic concepts for common table expressions. Uh, we'll have a look at grouping sets. What are the different uh, grouping sets that are provided by SQL Server 2008? We'll just walk through cube operator, the roll up, cross, and um, you know certain things like that. So let's start off with common table expressions. Um, so I believe common table expressions were started in SQL 2005, and basically, um, you know, they, they allow you to. It's 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 sort of a temporary table, but you know, it's basically used when you have a lot of recursive queries happening in um, you know sort of temporary tables. So uh, those are the instances where we would uh, really use common table expressions. So. Uh, common table expressions are pretty simple in terms of syntax. So what what I'm going to do is um, let me just open up some basic table or our favorite um, sales territory table. Let me just select the top thousand rows and I believe it's going to return about 10 rows or something. And the syntax for it basically starts off with uh, with clause. So let me just write some very simple code over here and I'm going to call this CTE as CTE underscore sales territory just to keep it very simple. And then basically you just wrap up your query in this portion that basically uh, you know whatever result set is declared or is, is returned actually is actually stored in this. Um, CT underscore ST and that's basically your um, similar to your temporary table. So uh, let me just store something like this. Select star from this uh, sales territory. And you could have, you know, how, however complex query you want inside this. I'm just trying to keep it uh, extremely simple in this case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select star from CTE underscore ST. And you need to terminate it with a semicolon. And let's try running this. So it was as simple as that. So it just starts off with a with clause and then you try to encapsulate whatever statements you want inside this. And that essentially becomes your temporary table. Um, and you, you, you could basically create how much over complex you want. You can have union clauses or any type of calculations, etc. Basically, it's just a temporary place which is going to store your result set. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to show you was uh, grouping sets. So, uh, for instance, let's let's just take this same example. So now, um, consider a scenario wherein your boss comes to you and says that, okay, give me the uh, sales uh, YTD and group it by name. So, you know, th this sounds like a very simple thing, right? You will do something like select name, comma sum of sales YTD from this table and you say group by uh, name pretty pretty simple syntax and then that that gives you the you know group by name uh, sales by TD uh, now your boss comes back to you and says that okay um, you know what, I need to have the sales YTD, but group it by name and then by country region code also. So that also sounds a very simple query. You say select name, country region code, and then again, um, sum of sales YTD from this table, adventure work sales territory, and then I'm going to just copy a couple of code from here and group by country region code. So again, this is a pretty simple stuff. Now, again, your boss comes back and says that, okay, you know what, I need basically by name, by country region code and by group. So again, it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward stuff. Right, you say, okay, I need it by group also, and that's a keyword, so I need to enclose it in square brackets, oops. And then I'm going to just add that. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Oh, so yeah, okay. All right, 
Now, the tricky part is now your boss comes back to you and says that, you know what, I actually need all three information in a single table and you're returning me three different results sets. So again, that's pretty pretty much solvable, right? You start doing union over here and then you, know, you try to stitch all the tables together. But the tricky thing is that union clause actually requires that uh, all the columns, at least the columns, uh, the number of columns should match and you know stuff like that. So uh, essentially how you would solve this is you're going to put something like null and comma null. So basically it has three columns and then you can union these two. Right. And then you're going to do union and then do something like null. And I hope you get that idea. You, you, you need to really take care of the nulls and only then you can actually um, get it into one single table. But SQL Server provides us with a set of keywords that help us achieve this. The, the reason being that, just imagine that if you have 20 such columns where you need to really take care of nulls and then group by clauses and etc., cetera, you know, it, it becomes really, really, very difficult to manage those kind of code. So. Uh, there is a very simple solution that uh, SQL provides us. So what you do is you start, um, you know, just selecting whatever you need in, in terms of, um, you know, like in, in our case, basically, this is the superset, the name, country, region, code, and group is a superset. So exactly, I'm just going to utilize that. Let me just copy this. And finally, the sum of sales by TD from this. And I say group by, and I introduce a new keyword called as grouping sets. And now what I need to do is, oops. I need to give it what all sets I need to group it into. Like for example, in our first case, it was group by name. So I just mentioned in AME. And next we group by name and country region code. So I'm going to mention that. Let me just make sure I take the parenthesis correctly. So I'm going to say name and country region code. And in my third case, it was name comma country region code comma group simple stuff so what this is going to do is that it's going to automatically take care of all those null arrangements and you know uh, the automatically it, it's basically going to give you the same result set but you don't have to do the hard work of actually um, you know stitching together all the statements using union clauses and then taking care of nulls etc so let's try running this and it gives me an error. So, yep, this is the one. Oops. Let's try that one more time. And you see that, you know, it pretty much result the same result that, um, you know, I would have got if I had executed the statement. So, um, there is also a very simple way uh, in which if you know that, you know, this is the superset and you want to just drop off the last column in each step, it's, it's essentially this, right? And in our case, what we are doing is we are grouping by name, country, region, code. Then we are dropping off group. So you have name and country, region, code. Then we are dropping off country, region, code. So you just have name. So there is a more simpler way to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this entire thing. And instead of grouping sets, there is a keyword called rollup. And what you do is you just give the superset name in this. So it's automatically going to just, um, you know, keep dropping off the last group. In our case, so essentially three sets would be formed. One is with this, what we mentioned, then it's going to drop off the last element that is group. Then it will be grouping it by name in country region code and after that by name. So essentially as a name such as it's just going to roll up. So let's just execute this. So you get the results. The third one that I wanted to show you is basically what if you want to generate you know, all possible combinations for group by. Now in this case, what it's going to do is it's just going to keep on dropping the last column. 
right till it reaches one just with one column but what if you want to actually go ahead and group by all possible combinations like name and country region code the name and group then all three or such stuff so that's where we introduce the cube clause so i'm going to just copy this entire stuff and i'm going to say group by cube and again it will just give the superset name and it's going to shuffle things for you so that pretty much you know returns a very simple table for you but as you see that using these uh, syntaxes it's it's it, it becomes extremely easy for you to play around with um, group by clauses so you really don't have to do the hard work if you really know the subset and then you know by what you want to group it you can really make use of these keywords thank you